All right, when it comes to do-it-yourself projects, one thing that will save you a whole lot of money is knowing how to do basic maintenance on your car. In daytime's Ben Italis, our auto focus expert, is here to show us just how to do that. Hey, Ben. Hey, guys. How Hi. are you? Nice wheels. Thanks. Are you ready to get greasy? We yes. are ready. Yes, that's what I like to hear. We're all about do-it-yourself when it comes to car maintenance. <laughs> I bet you are. Yes, we are. Well, today we're going to learn a couple of easy tips under the hood that you can do yourself. You don't have to be afraid of your car's guts. No, we don't. No, you don't. Nothing to fear here. Absolutely. Then why am I afraid? <laughs> you don't have to be. We're going to change that right now. Okay. Okay, what, what are we uh, working on? Well, the first thing we have to address is the actual hood itself. You know, if your car, this car's eight years old. So today, actually, I discovered that the hood struts were bad. How so, did you know they were bad? Well, because when I opened the hood, it wanted to shut. Oh. So instead of oh. sticking a broomstick or something under there, you don't want this 50-pound hood hitting you in the head. No. So get new struts. You can put them in yourself with a screwdriver. They just pop out and pop on. Okay. Or you can take them to your take this you know buy these at your automotive parts store and they'll install them for you if you just ask them nicely. I like that. that, yeah, that I like, I like that the one. sound yeah, of that. Right? I like that kind of do it yourself. Now one of the most important parts of your car is your car has to breathe, believe it or not. It requires oxygen and fuel and spark from your spark plugs mm -hmm. to create internal combustion. And every car has an air filter. So air filters get dirty every so often. Depending on where you live, they can get dirtier. Or if you're a construction worker and you're, you know, you're mm -hmm. driving in so the dirt. So how often do you have to change them? I would say at least every other oil change. Oh. So let's go ahead and Pretty pop nice. those tabs off, Cindy. Okay. And, and, I am ready to do and this. And you'll see. No problem. And like you'll see that there's an air filter there. There it is. Oh. So ahead. if you get this done, if you take your car into the shop and they do this, how much do they charge you? Know, they can you? charge you as much as $50 Ooh. for like a $10 to $15 air filter. And you can wow. see that's filtered. Dirty. Now, when it comes to air filters, you can replace your air filter with something called an oil-charged element filter. And what that is, is it, it increases airflow into your engine. It costs 50 bucks, but it lasts the life of your car. Did you, you really? actually clean it out with did, a cleaner and a hose. Did you say 50 or 15? 50. 50. But it lasts, it but lasts the life that, of your that car. That filter head. costs $15. I replaced right. that four times I could have bought huh. that, and this will last hundreds of thousands of miles. And what is it called? What kind of filter again? It's called an oil-charged element filter. Okay, number one thing that we're all going to go out and buy right away. Now, oil speaking of intake filter. and your car being cool and air and all that stuff, one of the things you need to address is your radiator. Now, radiators get clogged full of bugs and guts, bug guts and dirt and debris. So simple, all you gotta do is get your garden hose okay. and hose out your radiator. Look at that big juicy one right there. Oh, Ben. Yeah. Ben, so, I'm gonna give you a deal on my labor costs here. You that, got that'll it. only be $30. You, you got it. So you hose out your radiator, that's all you gotta do. That's I mean, it. every now and again, do that because huh. that gets clogged up around love bug season time mm -hmm. and it makes a big, nasty mess. Yeah, that's yeah, true. We don't want so that. one of the other things we wanna take care of is our battery under our hood. And you can talk battery corrosion. Corrosion can build up on your battery and cause your battery not to function at all, which can leave you stranded. So every now and again, if you find this corrosion, you can clean the corrosion off with a battery corrosion removal spray. Mm -hmm. It's usually a couple bucks at an automotive parts store. You can find it in the automotive section of your big box retail store. Just spray that on there and it'll neutralize that old nasty battery acid stuff. So the life of your battery lasts a lot longer? Yeah, yeah. That's usually the, one of the number one killers of your battery huh. is the corrosion, and that corrosion will spread through your entire electrical system. We just had to buy thing. a new battery because oh. we weren't cleaning it. Yeah, well, and, and you, you know what? You can use a, a baking soda water mixture. It works just the same. Speaking of cleaning, Good. you clean. You actually clean yes. under your hood. It's, it's important. Here, take that. Okay. It's a little bit of vinyl protectant, Here, the same spray. stuff you use on your tires and rubber parts on your car. We, we come Wipe as a team. Down. Just... Wipe down all the plastic and rubber parts of your car. The reason why you do this is all this heat makes all those rubber and plastic parts brittle. Okay. And this protectant will make them flexible. So they won't break down. Okay. Yeah, well, this intake alone could probably cost you a couple hundred dollars. One so, other very quick question yeah. for you. What happens if you get bad gas? Well, I take antacid. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about you guys. But. No, for your oh, car. Oh, right, for the car. <laughs> One of the simple things you can do, especially if you're on a road trip, grab a couple of bottles of this stuff, stump this in with every fuel tank. You see them, little red bottles. And they come all fine? different kinds. It really helps. It, it, it eliminates the water buildup in your fuel system okay. and can solve that problem. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, you're welcome. Ben Itellis, auto focus expert. Thanks so much. We're going to a break and I'll be filling this up with windshield wiper and fluid. And we'll keep cleaning his guts out. That's yeah. great. You we, do that. Don't go to, anywhere. I need some fluid. <laughs>